So in this video we are finding the linear equation from a graph using the gradient point method. This is our second video on finding uh, the equation using the gradient point method. The difference between the last video and this video is that this is going to pop up with a lot of negatives that are going to make your algebra a little more difficult. Now you need to know a point, here's our point, 2, negative 1, and you also need to find the gradient. You can use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or you can use rise over run. Uh, just to move this along a little quickly, I'm going to use rise over run. You can see that this, this line is going diagonally downwards. That means it's going to have a negative gradient. You can see that our rise isn't a rise, it's a fall. So the rise is going to be negative 3, and the run is going to be 1. That means that our gradient is just negative 3. Now, taking our second board here, remember that our general form of equation is y equals mx plus c. Now, we know the m, we know that our m is negative 3. So, all we need to do now is find that c value. Now, we can't go to the c value directly because we don't know what our y-intercept is. We do, however, know that one of the points is 2, negative 1. That means that when x equals 2, y equals negative 1. Now, we can sub that point into our equation. Sub 2, negative 1 into the equation. What we're going to end up with is negative 1 equal to negative 3, which is our gradient, x, which is 2, plus c. Now, negative 1 equals negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6, plus c. Now, we just need to move that negative 6 to the other side so we can isolate c. Negative 1, negative 6 moves over, it becomes positive 6. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. So we now know that our gradient is negative 3, and we also know that our c value is 5. It's really up to our last step here. The general form is y equals mx plus c, and we now know that our gradient is negative 3, and our c value is positive 5. That is... Finding the linear equation from a graph using the gradient point method.